Hey, my name is Fiona and I'm one of the team here at BTFS Europe. I'm going to talk to you today about a new feature that came with the 2011 release of Koha, which allows you to group together a set of libraries configured on your Koha system that can be used for hold purposes. Now, this is a great feature for those organisations that have many libraries and as it adds that extra layer of configuration to allow you to control where your holds and reservations can come from and be sent to. So this comes from bug report number 22284, which allows you to group together libraries on the system for both creating the holds and for the pickups uh, locations as well. So this is an extra enhancement to the features that are already there, like the system preferences that allow you to control the weighting of the holds in the branches and also your transport cost matrix, which can be used to ensure that uh, reservations and holds are filled in a satisfactory way. So if we come into our library groups policy in the COHA administration area, what you'll see now is that we have an extra action um, that allows us to enable your local hold group. So if we have a look at this library group for academic, it's used for the OPAC and for staff search groups. But if we have a look at our um, Area X library group that's configured here, you can see that it's set for a local reservation group. And if I have a look at that by editing it, you can see that it's simply an extra selection now that's available within the library group policy. Now, obviously, you then um, specify what libraries on your system should be within this group, and you can add libraries and remove them from the group at any time. So this feeds in to our circulation rules page. Um, if we scroll down, this is our, just our, our defining our rules for, for all libraries at the moment. Down the page, you've got this default issue reserve and return policy area. And you can see that you can set your default reserve policy to be from any library, or you've now got this new feature here to, so where you can select from your local reservation group or from your local hold group. And the same with the pickup library match, you've got the option there to, to see whether it's coming from the item or the user's reservation group. And of course, that then looks back to that library group policy that we were just looking at. Further down, we have our default reserve policy by item type. And once again, here you can list your item types um, with the relevant uh, hold policies. So this is where we can specify that some item types can be held from any library, or perhaps there's no reservations allowed on particular item types. But now at 2011, because we've got that extra library group function allowing us to create our local hold groups, we have a reserve policy as well that we can select our from local reservation group as our reserve policy there. And again, similarly, you've got your reservation pickup library match, and that can be set to the item or the user's reservation group if you wish to, to utilise that. So we think this is a great enhancement for our larger organisations that do have multiple libraries because it's just that extra bit of functionality that allows them to control where the holds are and um, where the items are coming from to satisfy the holds. Okay, hope you find that useful. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.